Hey there, Arconiacs. In a now deleted post on Instagram by Noodle Poodle PA, we received some possible behind the scene photos and artwork made for people who worked on the show. First, we have an accounting rat pen for season three of Only Murders in the Building. I'm guessing that this means that the show is finishing up filming, or at least these people are now done with their portion of work for the series. The enamel pen has a golden cobra wrapped around a lighthouse. You may remember that I pointed out that we saw two posters with lighthouses behind Meryl Streep and the teaser trailer breakdown. On one of the posters, we saw the letters D-E, which I'm assuming that is the beginning of the title of the show. And my guess is that it says something along the lines of death at the lighthouse. In the same post, we get what appears to be reference art for the pen made by Noodle Poodle. This account also posted two set photos. First is a stage prop of a lighthouse. This appears to be for a scene in the next season. And because it doesn't appear to be on a sound stage, but an actual stage itself, I'm guessing that it was part of a theater production for the show with the lighthouse that we see in the posters. This tells me that we will get flashbacks to the show or it is more likely part of the show that Ben dies in at the end of season two. The set that Ben is on does kind of look like the edge of a dock or something, a location that you are likely to see a lighthouse. The second photo is a very large golden cobra. Golden snakes and even specifically cobras have been used as symbolism by many cultures throughout the world, meaning many different things from transformation, luck, success, and prosperity barrier from achieving your goals and even lust for money i did a cursory search for cobras and lighthouses through google but i wasn't able to find anything of note these two photos the cobra and the lighthouse formed into one image as part of a pin given to people who work on the show tells me that these two elements likely play an important part in the story for season three and to the mystery of who killed ben glenroy but it's not really only murders in the building theory video without a bold theory and prediction. At the end of season two, we do see Ben having some trouble breathing and blood appearing at his mouth. These are common side effects of venomous snake bites due to paralysis of the diaphragm. So though not certain, Ben could have certainly been poisoned via snake venom. Venom is said to have a sweet and tangy water taste, so it could easily be put inside of drink like tea. And that was my initial guess for the mode of delivery for the poison at the end of season two. Because of all the teapots that were seen on the table just before Ben walks on stage. So in making a very uneducated guess, I'm going to say that Ben Glenroy was poisoned via snake venom placed in his tea. And my guess it is done by Meryl Streep's character. Why her? Meryl's character seems to forget proper etiquette for a table read, not realizing it's her line. This could mean that she's been out of theater for a while, and I'm guessing Ben Glenroy has something to do with that. And Charles stating, I know what you did, was in reference to this. I mean, look at her outfit, red and white, just like a lighthouse, just like this lighthouse, in gold framed glasses, just like the golden light atop a lighthouse. We often see things hidden in the background, like the Where is Becky Butler poster, while Poppy is in frame, and even at the end of season two, this poster with blood on the lips, not realizing that moments later we would see Ben with blood on his. Meryl's outfit could be a subtle nod to how her character may mirror characteristics of the lighthouse in the story, whatever it may be. Well, we're far away from truly knowing who or why someone would have killed Ben Glenroy, but what do you think of the symbolism of the cobra and the lighthouse? Share your thoughts below. Be on the lookout for a video guessing plot points based on a leak of episode titles of season three. They may not be real titles, but we're gonna have fun with it either way. Thank you guys for watching. My name is Dallas, and I'll catch you on the rooftop.